Hi there, I'm Eric, and I'd like to tell you about the time at work when my boss called me left-brained. Kind of a weird, kind of a funny story. So why don't we get into it? Around the office one day, my boss, unassumingly, called me into the office. I can tell she was a little upset, and she said to me, Eric! We got some problems here, because <laughs> obviously my boss speaks like a 1940s radio announcer. <laughs> Hot didgeridoo, I need you and your left brain to get our project back on track. I got all these right brainers out there. They're going this way and that. I need you and your left brain. Can you do it? Uh, the project, ma'am. Uh, yes, they're all right brained out there. They're going this way and that. Can you do it? Can you get things back on track with your left brain? Well, I was, of course, happy that my boss had confidence in me. But this whole left brain situation got me thinking a little bit, got me a little thrown back. Because we all know our brain is divided into a left and a right hemisphere. And uh, pretty much individual entities, they're only connected by something called the corpus callosum. And without it, the both halves of our brains hardly communicate at all. And we'd have something called a, a split brain, which we can almost function normally with. And traditionally, uh, the left brain has been associated with rationality, logic, and reason. And the right hemisphere has been thought of more artistic with the uh, imagination and visual and creative. So if our brain was the enterprise the left side would be yes captain at warp 7.2 we will reach our destination in four hours 32 minutes and 47 seconds and maybe our right brain would be oh my is this the kobayashi maru the unwittable test i think i can solve this one <laughs> anyway I always thought of myself as a little more Kirk, a little less Spock. Does my boss think I'm not creative? Am I the scarecrow with just half a brain that's worth anything here? Kind of got me worried for a second. But then I thought, ah yes, she has a little bit deeper understanding of this situation. She knows this is merely a myth about the brain. After all, I gave her that book last Christmas by Elon McGillichrist talking about the wonders of the divided brain. So she maybe thinks that I should focus down, get a little bit more in-depth, uh, get everyone on the right track, maybe, because the left brain is maybe a little more focused and the right brain is maybe a little more widely viewed. The more we know about the brain, the more this we know that this is I very complicated and convoluted situation with the left and right brain and their relationship to each other and individually. So I was thinking about that again. It's like, well, it doesn't matter really what she thinks. Uh, she's obviously thinking I'm qualified to get things done. So she said, can you do it, Eric? What do you think? So I had an epiphany. I'm going to use my left and my right hemisphere to get this job done even though she thinks a left-sided brain is the only thing that really matters here because in reality we need both to function and we need both functioning well to get work done so i simply said yes captain beam me down i can get it done so, of course, she was happy about that. I'm happy to hear about that. Yes, sir, do. <laughs> and then she immediately left home early and left me all the work. Gotta! <laughs> so that was my quick story about how my boss once thought I was left-brained. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about your left and right brain and how they work, or maybe about a split brain and how that works, look in the description below. And maybe I'll see you 
next time.